gloves on. All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to Wimps Creek Art. Happy Friday. Let me just get that camera adjusted a little bit. Sorry about that. So we just got a variety of things we're going to pour on today. So we'll wait a moment. Let some people get in here. How's everyone doing today? So happy, happy Friday. <clears throat> so I thought real quick I could pour on this. Um, I have a little jewelry box and I actually poured on it before and I don't know. I don't really like the top. I like the colors and I'm going to go with those same colors, but I'm going to re-pour it. So um, Fridays, my chat usually picks the colors. And so for today, I'm going to go ahead and just... Um, pour on this one. I'm going to pick the colors for this one. Let me move something out of the way, get you guys. And so I think I'll just put that up on top of there and then I'll move it out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and pour on that one. And then if anybody comes in the chat, you go ahead and you can pick the colors for the next one. So that's just a small little jewelry box. A few people have bought those little tiny jewelry boxes for a tooth fairy box. I thought that was kind of cute. So I'm just going to pour right in this other, this cup that I already, and we're going to put just a little spurt of this, um, I almost said treadmill oil, but no, it's the CRC silicone oil. So happy, happy Friday. So that was Pink Polish by Apple Barrel, and then this is a pearl white, and then we'll put a little gold. So we're going to go the same colors, but just hoping to get a little bit um, more cells. Shake up this gold. All right. It doesn't want to work for us. I'll just have to take the lid off. It's another beautiful day here in Washington, weather-wise. Beautiful weather. Nice spring weather. And a little bit more of that pink. And we'll throw a little bit more of that pearl in there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a popsicle stick. Hey, Katie, how are you doing? Since this is a very small item, I'm mixing it a little bit more than I normally would so I can get the paint to kind of not have big globs of pink or big globs of gold. So, all right. So, we'll just paint on this one first. So, Katie, you're the first one. What colors uh, would you like to see today? I almost want to give it a little more spurt. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. And I'm still not seeing cells. I don't know what it is with these colors. That's funny. But I can get some. I'll get some to pop up. Spring cleaning this morning. All right. That's how I've been doing, too. Lots of little spring cleaning projects. Making Mike lots of lists of things that we need to get done. <laughs> So, all right, we still don't have much cells there. That's interesting. These colors just don't want to for us. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of see what we can get to happen. Not much anything. <laughs> yeah, you take this one. This is one I poured on, um, oh, gosh, probably six, seven months ago, and it just stayed taped. Blue, orange, and yellow. Awesome. All right. Just a second, and we'll set this one aside. It just, it refuses to have cells, I guess. No big deal. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and set that aside here without knocking it down. Just a moment. And then, 
So blue, orange, and yellow. Uh, how about this? We'll do blue, orange, and yellow. Can Oh, it's not really on. We'll have to adjust some things to get it further on to the frame of the camera so we can actually see it. I'm trying to just do all these today. And that's what we're going to paint pour for today's live stream is just all these. There's a few wood cutouts. There's a couple of very small wood plaques and then a variety of light switch covers here. So we'll do this one here. Uh, blue, orange, and yellow. Yeah, it's taped. Um, it's taped from um, quite some time ago. Uh, it's been taped. Let me grab. A... So what we're going to do with this one, we're going to do some experimenting. We're going to spray the spray right in the empty cups. Then I'm just getting the excess. All right. So here's some ultramarine blue. There's the last of it, though. Let's see what we can get out. And some beautiful lemon yellow. And did you, you had said orange. Um, let me see. I would like to. Okay, this is the only orange. I was looking for a different orange, but I guess just the prime, not primary, uh, just orange. That's what we got. Oh, you did? All right. Mike says he has a different silicone spray that I could try out, but. We'll have to see what he has. He went out to the vehicles. All right. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange. Hey, H7, how are you doing? And let's see what we can get out of this. I would like to just use this one blue. I don't want to have to grab another blue. <laughs> Just a second, guys. We're just scraping the bottoms here. Um, I'm going to mix some paint later this afternoon, but I'm not going out for supplies. You know, we are under complete quarantine. So we're going to be using here in the next few weeks just what we have in the house. So. Today. So. That should be enough blue. We're out of that blue, but that's all right. All right. We got a couple drops there, so. Yeah, we don't quite have enough paint. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've seen people use that one. It's a blaster brand, it looks like. We'll have to check that out. Okay, we're going to have to go ahead and get some other blue. Um, H7, from what I understood from the um, email and stuff they sent around, supposedly that's all a rumor that you can say it, you can say any of the words, you're not going to lose monetization. They just want don't want people spreading false facts. So I guess if some reason you're spreading false facts, but no, I have uh, tagged the one video in quarantine and it's doing really well. But I don't know. I mean, that's just what the uh, YouTube is telling us they're doing. That, that Supposedly they're not, but I don't, you never know. You really don't know. But that's, that's what they're saying to us. Is that's just a rumor. I may even have to get a little more paint for this one. It is. But I'm liking the cells that are popping up. But, and honestly, I could, I wish I could 
rant right now and talk a little bit more. Uh, you've noticed that streams will glitch right when certain words are said. All right. And Katie knows that too. Um, but I also, um, it, you know, school's out right now. So uh, the kids are home. And so I don't want to go on and on about it either. So that's also one of the reasons, not just YouTube. I don't want to talk about it and stuff because they don't need to hear it constantly, you know, trying to kind of keep them from having to hear it all the time. So. So, yeah, I uh, that's why I was just before I got on here telling Mike, I wish I could say certain things right now and not even like YouTube regulations just because I don't want to say, you know. The one thing I will get on here and say is I don't know if my brother watches me. I've heard my brother watches me. If you're watching, you need to get a hold of us. You need to respond to one of us if you're my brother, if you're watching here. But so there's a lot of things I can't say, you know. And, you know, I don't want to. You don't, you've got to be, you know, with certain things, the politics, you know, I want to rant and go on about the politics of all this, but I, I don't want to, you know, I don't, I can't say too much on that too. Yeah, I totally get it. Yeah, you were talking about the YouTube al algorithms for sure. And so I'm saying part of the reason I don't want to talk is more than the YouTube algorithms. But yeah, I totally get it. Katie picked this color combination. So um, anybody want to pick another color combination? I have this one nice and bright, and I love the different cells and the different, I, I think it's got some nice movement kind of, they say. Let me kind of show you guys a little bit. But I am going to take one and go set this one over here because I know over here is nice and level. I really, really like it, and I don't want to risk messing it up. <laughs> so we'll just get it moved. Should we do another one? That, I think I kind of want to do um, maybe this rocker. These are those rocker style. It looks a lot like yesterday's sunset. Awesome. Okay, so you said purple, pink, orange. All right. Um, let me grab up some purple, pink, and orange. Um, let's see how this one would look. Okay, we'll do, I don't know what you guys can see. Okay, um, we'll kick that one out of the way. We messed up all those nice drips there, but that's all right. So we'll see what, we'll do this combination. Let me grab another tiny cup. All right, let's do one of these hearts and we'll see. Oh, your okay. Your colors are based. Okay, I see what you're saying. Um, on the sunset. All right. Let me get that tropical orange. Would probably be good. So let's see if we can do this. Let's try to dirty pour almost like a sunset, but by putting. So what we need to do, I'm going to, I'm going to add a color. I'm going to put a little yellow in there. So if we put, yeah, okay. I had to think a second. I'm going to put some yellow on the bottom. Then we're going to go into some, go, some orange. And then a little bit darker orange. Orange. 
and then some of this pink. And let's put just a little bit of this. Um, it's uh, a brighter magenta pink. And then we'll pour that on here. All right. Yeah, I kind of finished it with, it's it's kind of a, it's a red violet is what it is. It's the actual color is red violet. So it didn't go completely purple, but kind of finished it with a more purple color. I hope that's level. Come on, we need more. I may have put a little too much pink in it. It took a while for the, I was like, okay, come on pink. All right. Tip it this way, and then we'll tip it way back this way. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get some of the edges. It's hard to do when they're just on, on cups, not in their pans. Um, sometimes it helps to get this excess that is dripping off because it'll keep pulling it off. The gravity of it will just keep pulling it off. So. Oh, okay. Purple is another name for magenta originally. Okay. I didn't know that. Fun fact for today. Well, fun fact for today. Awesome. Which most of the bright, the um, red violet kind of came off. We got a little bit of it, kind of the corners. <laughs> so, but all right. So what's our next colors, guys? What's our next ones? I almost kind of want to do, while you guys are picking some more colors, I'm actually going to do another one in this heart over here in those colors. But just a dirty pour, not quite a um, gradient like I was trying to do. This one's going to be more just a dirty pour, but those colors. So, but pick some more colors. Yes, I am low on white. I do have master's touch white, which I'm just going to have to go ahead and um, mix it up. But I love master's touch paint when I've used of it so far. But I am not impressed with their white. Their white is very like sticky and tacky. Even when it's dry, it has this weird stickiness to it, I've noticed. And I don't I don't really into that. So um, I do have a white. I'm just trying not to use it. I don't like it, but I don't have it mixed up today. So we could do silver. Yes, I have silver enough of that mixed up. That one turned out really nice. Focus for me. 
So, so it would be red, black, and silver. Yes, we could do that. That's a beautiful color combination too. So, but I, what I do need to do is maybe try, okay, I'm going to grab a pan so I can get a couple of these moved out of the way. All right, let me put a couple of cups in this pan and then I can get these moved. I'm going to go ahead and try to very carefully grab this one. So you can see that one and I'm going to grab this one. Oh, I better put another cup in there. All right, guys, just making those level. All right, so black, red, and silver. All right. Let me get another tiny little cup. All right, let's do, uh, what do you guys can see? I'll probably bring this a little bit better into the focus. We can do it right there. Or not focus, but in the frame. So we have some red. Well, I guess we have to poke a hole here. All right, so this is scarlet. It's kind of more on the honestly kind of an orangey red so I am gonna throw just a little bit of crimson in there as well and I kind of really like the looks of both of those together so then we got our silver and just a moment and go ahead oh, okay I was just gonna suggest somebody pick the next colors and I look up and Mike has picked some more colors all right so um We'll go with that next. So here's some silver and let's get the black. Here it is. And I just mixed up a whole new black. So we got lots of black mixed up. And I had to go to Liquitex for the black. Normally I like the cheap paint black, but we are using Liquitex for this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'll take and just give this a little, just a tiniest little bit. Give that a stir. And we don't need nearly this much paint, but we're going to, because this rocker, they don't really need that much paint. Before we use that black again, I am going to go ahead and slip a little bit of water into it because it is quite thick, the black. Are you going to be using that one next? Um, no, I don't, I'm not sure. Okay. Mike was helping me make sure everything was level, the ones I moved. So should we talk Mike into, since he's got this time off, appearing on camera soon? No. <laughs> he says, no. <laughs> I think we should. Doesn't have to be today, but I think he's soon. All right, we got some great black combinations. So we'll do the purple, black, yellow, and then we'll do the gold, pearl, black. I love that. That's a very classic one. The gold, pearl, and black. Very nice. And then yellow and purple is always fun to do together. All right, so here's this one. It's more marbled look than really the... Um, 
we'll just set that one there. Let me wipe my hands off and then we'll get, um, what was it? Oh, purple, black, yellow. That was right. Oh yeah. Not just red. Um, cause the one dries like more of an orangey red and then the one dries a really dark. So it, it's nice to have the two kind of, they kind of complement each other in a way with the crimson and the scarlet. And you can kind of see like the different shades of it. And the um, silver kind of mixes with one and then not the other. So it kind of makes one of the reds kind of almost a shimmery red. So, all right, let me, and it was, let me see if this is dry in here. Yeah, that's dry. I had to see if that paint was dry already to use it. So let me just stick some water in this um, black real quick. It's a little bit um, thick here. So I just have some water in a squirt bottle, and I'm just going to squirt some water and shake that up. They just mixed this black in it. I didn't get to test it out, and it is a little bit thick. Read your comment. Is the comment about the um, different colors of red? Is that what you were referring to? Please, Mike, Katie says. <laughs> we'll get him tapped into it. Yeah. Okay. It was, I'm assuming read your comment was the one above. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Just shaking that water in that. Um, and then we'll do, I'm going to go ahead and just set it over here. We'll do that one purple yellow and black so i'm gonna do can you guys see the cup no we'll put the cup here and you can see it so black and then i'm gonna do this more of like a plum um color for the purple and then the lemon yellow A little bit more of that purple and a little bit more of that black. Let's go ahead and put more. <laughs> Just a little bit. All right. So um, we'll do the gold pearl black. We'll do this one, then the gold pearl black, and then the next one, but yellow, pink, green. All right. Awesome, guys. These ones are a little bit harder to do. It just wants to run off the sides. They're a little bit more at a curve. The um, the rocker style. They kind of have a little bit more of a curve to their. So the paint wants to just run off of it. It's a little bit more. All right. Got a couple of spots. Sorry if I don't catch something in chat, just trying to. Are you guys staying busy? Anybody start any new? I know um, Katie had said she's doing some spring cleaning. Been doing some spring cleaning here as well. Anybody start any new hobbies? Any start something new? Hey, Roger, how are you doing? All right, so let's do black pearl and gold beautiful colors let's find another one of these little cuppies i've got a few toilet paper rolls here gotta move those out of the way for painting purposes toilet paper rolls 
Oh, those ones have holes in them for the floating cup. All right, here's a good one. That one's got a beautiful little, uh, it got some nice cells. The cup itself is nice. <laughs> so, all right. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one here, this, this uh, outlet cover. No sleep, no life. Oh, uh, not sleeping. You're still having issues with sleep. Uh, the noise level hasn't maybe calmed down a little bit. I keep hoping that the noise level is going to calm down for you. So, all right. So with this one, I want to try, go ahead, and I'm going to put the uh, silicone oil. We've been using, I mean, the treadmill oil. We've been using that aerosol this morning. Let's try that one. We got some pearl white. So we got lots of pearl whites. So if we do come across a white, we, we can always use pearl. Oh, <laughs> oh, is that why? Because the beard, you didn't, you still have a beard. You just trimmed it, like dramatically trimmed it. But you look great. Why is that silly? That is silly. Mike had a very long beard, but he did go ahead and shave it the other day. Um, just trimmed it, didn't shave it all the way off. Oh, that was a little more gold than I really wanted, but that is okay. Now we'll put just a tad bit of black in there and give it a somewhat of a stir. Let me grab the cup. All right. And then what was the next, the color? Oh, yellow, pink, and green was the next one. That's right. A lot of wasted paint today. I'm going to have to dip a few things in this paint. Um, quite a bit of runoff today without having the pans there. <coughs> yeah, he'll have to grow it back. <laughs> the pupa stage, or pupil. Don't encourage him on the cocoon. Then he'll just. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Try and get just a last little bit out here. Right here and then right on this corner. No, we have to encourage him to show his face. No, we'll talk them into it soon. Just getting all these edges here. So I try not to drop drip on the other one. So Whew, safely land it back in its spot. <laughs> yes, those are nice, bright, springy color combination. I am going to go ahead and see what we get. Um, I doubt we'll, well, actually, you know what? I need to put this one on just a little further. But um, knock on wood, the torch has been being pretty good for me. I still haven't gotten a new one, so thankfully that one's been doing all right. <laughs> so... All right, so let's go ahead and do that. What's in? We can do this one here um, in the purple. Well, no, it was pink, green, and yellow. I think it was pink, green, and yellow. Mike, was those the colors? You want to see the stubble? <laughs> yep. Uh, 
He's got, well, I would say, I don't know. How long do you think it is? A half inch or so? I mean, he still has a beard, I would say. Ah, uh, I'm going to do a flip cup on this one. On this, you guys, yes, you can see it. Let's do a nice bright green. And a nice bright, let's just do bright colors. That's that lemon yellow. And then that was green light. And then um, this, uh, it's called Pink Eraser, actually. And then we just have a couple more, guys. Just a couple more. We have a couple, um, a seashell and a stegosaurus. And then this little one, I'll move so you guys can see it a little bit better. Let's see. I wonder if that's going to be enough. With a flip cup, you want to have a little extra paint. It's easy to not have enough with a flip cup. Five-eighths of an inch. Oh, a, a Brugmansia uh, shrub. I'm not familiar with that one. Getting tired of chewing on the hair while eating. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do a flip cup on this one and try not to get any of the paint on the other ones. That can be easy to do. But yeah, his hair, his, and it was tickling his uh, lips and tickling his nose. But uh, he had a pretty long beard, uh, two and a half years or so. <gasps> Dang it, I'll fix that. Do you guys see I dripped as I went by? That's all right. Thankfully, it is still uh, wet, so I can grab a little bit of that and drip right over the top and drip it off. That's all right, but sometimes it's a sure a bummer if you drip when it's uh, dry. Not real sure what I'm going to do with these little tiny plaques. They're very small. I actually bought them on, um, I think it was AliExpress or what, maybe it was Wish. But the um, description wasn't very clear and I thought I was getting some much larger ones. So these are much smaller than, and this was probably, gosh, close to two years ago. I've been just hanging on to them. So we'll go ahead and torch this one and see what we get. But um, this one might be a nice background. But we'll torch it and we'll see what happens. Let me wipe my hands off real quick and then we'll give it a torch. A melted push pop. Yeah. So um, we'll go ahead and... Um, Give it a torch and probably a little bit of the pink, I'm hoping. And that'll probably pop up. It lost a lot of the yellow. I wish a little bit more of the yellow would pop up. All right. Thank you, thank you. That's what um, uh, I was thinking, well, not a clip, but I was almost thinking of using them as backgrounds and putting quotes. Um, I was thinking we could put it into a magnet and put quotes, or I thought about, at least for one of them, I'd like it to do it for our house, um, put like clean on one side and dirty on the other side and put a magnet on it and put it on the dishwasher so that it would be, you flip it over, you know, whichever way, clean, 
dirty so you can let people know in the dishwasher what it is. And I thought that would be a fun little thing to do with them. But at least one of them for us. But uh, um, uh, I was thinking maybe put some uh, magnets and make it put a quote on them on, with magnets or something like that. So what shall we, Mr. Stegosaurus? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, H7. Thank you, guys. Uh, we have Mr. Um, I think he's a Stegosaurus. I don't know. We have Mr. Dinosaur. Mr. Dinosaur has been in my stash for quite some time. You know what I think when you guys... Is it a Triceratops? I'm probably... Oh, yeah, because it's not a steak because it doesn't have the, so it has to, yes. If it was Stegosaurus, see, uh, Stegosaurus does not have the horns, and then it has the, um, on the back, right? So Mr. Dinosaur, we'll just call him. Uh, so green, gold, and red. Christmas colors? Let's try to make it not like use those colors, but as little Christmassy as possible. So let's see what would be good. You know what I'm going to try to do? We're going to try to kind of dip him in this other one. So we're going to do some gold here. We're going to use those colors, but make it as least Christmassy as possible. This gold is not wanting to work for me. Let me. Just a minute, guys. I've got to poke a little hole here. Fish out whatever is making this not work. The gold doesn't want to work for us. Okay, that's fine. And I mixed my own gold too. And I actually ran out of um, the lighter gold. So my gold is a little bit darker than I like it to be. I had a wedding gold that I would mix in with it. And I really liked that wedding gold, but now I ran out. All right. Now, I think I'm going to use the crimson because if we take the scarlet, oh, an olive green. Oh, I could have. Yes, I saw that a little bit too late. Um, We'll put a little olive green in it, too. How about we put it? I'll put a little bit of red here and then I'll grab the olive green, too. But we're going to smash this into that other plaque. And that's how the paint's going to kind of, let's get some, let's get just a little bit of there. Um, I got some olive green here. Let me give it a good shake. I haven't used this one in a little while. We'll just put some little bit here and there. All right, now let's try not to squish it onto the other ones. So I have this kind of this shaped one too. I'm glad it's not a <laughs> yes. I don't know. Let's see how we can do this. Okay, so just a second. We'll have to get more paint for that, though. I don't think I have silicone in any of those colors. So let me, it's got a glare on it right now. Let me get it where you can see it a little bit.
just a second. I'm poking the paint through these holes because it'll dry like that, and then you won't be able to see there's a hole there. So. Oh, it's because the sticker on the back wants to keep it, the paint there. Okay, I'll remove the sticker in just a moment. I should have done that before. I usually do. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this one finished up because it's got those same colors. And we only have, uh, you like those colors? Awesome. Thank you. We have a heart. I think you, I'll get it into view more. And then that seashell is all we have. So, let's see if I can get some gold, and that doesn't want to come out. We won't even mess with it. Uh, where did I put that red? Okay, a little bit more red. And then a little bit more of that olive green. Just a little bit, though. Now I'm just kind of using my finger to make it look like I didn't just, you know, it was there all the way. So kind of little tiny balloon smashes. <laughs> All right, guys, what would you have a suggestion for the seashell? Let's do this seashell. The only suggestion I have for the seashell is pearl. So let's let's do something with pearl. So pick some colors and we'll add pearl to it too. Because that um the thing I was kind of thinking it could go on. It would look really nice if it kind of had a shimmer pearl kind of to it, you know, that kind of shimmer the pearl gives it, pearl color. So anybody have some suggestions for uh, maybe uh, a couple other colors to add to pearl for that seashell? And that seashell, seashell is just a wood cut out. Brown, pearl, and blue. All right. Okay. That's yeah, we haven't done any browns. Uh, and yeah, that's a good color combination we haven't really, you know, worked with today. So now let me grab this little cup thing. Grab one of these little cups. And you guys can, yeah, you guys can see that. I'm going to get um, some pearl color in here. I'm going to put a little bit of the aerosol. Ooh. That was a lot of there, so I didn't mean to. Uh, yes, some nice new fresh color combination. All right, some burnt umber. And then I think, oh, Jesus, disaster, guys. <laughs> All right, well, I'll have to, there's, oh, nice survived just this corner. I will have to clean that up. Okay, just a second with that. Blue. Pearl. And then I'm going to put a little bit of brown on the top. All right. What did you retract? <laughs> Are you laughing at my disaster? But look, we still have some in the cup reserve. We can fix it right now. Happy little mistakes, happy little accidents. Oh, well, this corner needs a little. See, we fixed it. Nobody would ever know. Except where we need to. Okay, now nobody would ever know. <laughs> so, and I thought I knocked all of them down. I thought it was a domino effect for all of them, but thankfully we just got a little bit. There's no disasters in art. We can fix it all. 
All right, guys. So I've got uh, the, this is going to be kind of almost navy, uh, got some darker brown, darker blue, and then the pearl. Let's go ahead and, and then we have one last little heart, and that's about all we have for today. Those are just left over from the Valentine's project I did. All right. Get my hands back before I drip on anything else. All right, let me wipe my hands off. Another beautiful color combination. You guys are doing awesome picking these colors today. And we've had quite a variety. Sometimes uh, I've noticed some of the live streams have kind of a theme. We tend to pick the same colors, but quite a variety of different colors with this one today. Um, I doubt the camera's picking up, but I'll have to take a close-up picture of that one and post it. The pearl is getting a little bit overpowered with that one. Um, when it dries, what will happen is the blue and the brown that it kind of soaked it up will get a shimmery effect too. So it'll probably all have kind of some out of shimmery effect. Purple, bright green, and pink. All right, so let me move this out of the way and not knock down our whole bottle of silicone. All right. Um, where's another? Oh, right here, right here. So we'll put, can you guys? Yeah, um, let's go ahead. And move Mr. Dinosaur. Move him a little out of the way if we can. And we'll put Miss the heart right up where you guys see it a little better. So we'll do some pink. Or no, yeah, you did say pink. Uh, pink, purple, bright green. All right. And let's see what, what purples we have mixed up. We have this. Because we don't have a bright purple mixed up. We got to get a nice bright purple mixed up. But we got that purple. And this brighter green. And then just a little bit more of that purple and we'll pour that on. She makes it your way. All right, but this is the last one today, guys. I'm hoping to maybe pop on at some point this weekend, but we'll see. I have to get my um, painting done for my challenge for Dina Tollefson's is what I got to do here when I get done here. Uh, she has a new challenge. It's the Under the Water Challenge. And I have started something. I got to get it finished up. So, um, yeah, that'll probably be the next video coming out for me is part of Dina's challenge. Those are always fun to do. All right, let me wipe my hands off and we'll give that a quick torch. But I am for sure going to be on next Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we'll probably sneak in a few others in there, too. 
But for now, those are the ones that are for sure scheduled. Next Tuesday and Friday, normal time, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then Thursday evening, we're going to do 90s trivia. You know, and the due date H7 for that one was kind of funny. Her video says, ah, Friday the 21st. So I'm going to do my video for tomorrow. But so um, I, I think everybody's just kind of because everything's kind of crazy right now. And I heard a couple people are turning theirs in next week. But um, her, her video says Friday the 21st which today is Friday and it's the 20th. So I'm not either today or tomorrow. I'm not real sure. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, under the water. I thought that would be a fun one. I can definitely do some under the water uh, scenes and stuff for with mine. I wish the glare wasn't on that last one so bad. Can you guys, a little bit, but I don't know. So, all right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And you guys picked some beautiful color combinations. Thank you. It's always fun. And so I hope you guys stay. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, make a <laughs> But um, I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and please, please, everyone just stay home. <laughs> it's time to just stay home, guys. I, this is somebody from Washington State saying this. It is time for everyone to just stay home, please. So, all right, guys. Uh, the last one looks like a slice of agate. Yeah. Um, the next scheduled dive is Tuesday. I'm hoping to do um, real soon, uh, tomorrow or Sunday, or well, I'll pop in at some point, hopefully. So hopefully sooner than Tuesday. But for now, that's the next scheduled one. So all right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and stay safe, stay healthy, be the change you want to see in the world. All right, much, much love to you guys. Take care.